Yo, what's going on YouTube? Plumpy Man here. Uh, just doing a little video. Um, sitting around messing on the computer, looking at some stuff and uh, on my YouTube. And had a package show up. Uh, here, as you can see, going to do a little unboxing and a mini type review, but uh, going to do a later review on it. Um, as you know, I got a SKS here not too long ago, and I want to do some upgrades on it. I don't want to replace the magazine just because I think that's silly. Um, you don't want to mess with that, but... Uh, I kind of was looking into upgrading the sights on it, and uh, just because the iron sights on SKS, they are proven, they do work good, but um, just something a little easier, better to see, and uh, like, I'm so used to my sight picture on a, like on my ARs, I own 4.5 ARs and AR pistol and stuff, and uh, I really like the sight layout on it, and I was looking into something like that. Um, I looked at a couple of sights for SKSs, like Krebs uh, was one of the main ones I was looking at. Um, and it just didn't seem it didn't seem right like I didn't real I wasn't really into it and then I come across tech sites um, so I went ahead and checked them out and pretty cool looking designs and stuff and they offer what it is a peep site that mounts onto your the rear of your SKS pretty sick design and it's pretty much the exact same type of site that's on your AR so I was really into that <clears throat> And they make all kinds of peep sights like that for, uh, I'm, I'm on their site right now, they make them for Ruger 1022s, Ruger mini rifles, Marlins, uh, even AKs, SKSs, kel Mossberg rifles, Ruger American rifles, CZ4 52 sights, uh, Marlin XT sights, Savage Mark II rifle sights, those are bolt action rifles, all those I just named, um, and a few others, um, even for Remington uh, rifles, but uh, like the Remington 597, stuff like that. And... I was looking into their SKS sights, and they make two different versions. Uh, they make a, a TS-100 and a TS-200. And um, I actually contacted the company and talked to them, told them I had a YouTube channel, um, and wanted to basically get one, uh, see about it or whatever, do a review on it, stuff like that. And they gave me a lot of information on it. Um, super awesome to deal with. Uh, they were very, very helpful. I can't say enough about them. Like, I was highly impressed with all the information stuff and what they did and uh, like I said the TS100 is um, it has dual apertures just like an uh, like an AR sight the flip up um, the real small peep sight and the larger peep sight aperture basically um, <clears throat> and it is uh, there is no on the TS100 from what I gather there is no uh, elevation uh, like adjustments or whatever but on the TS-200, um, there is. There's a, a windage on the side and the elevation on the peep sight, just like uh, kind of like for a AR kind of. And what they say is almost all SKSs, some of them are different. Um, and for like Norinkos, they have a higher sight base, so they recommended um, the TS-200 because one, it has the elevation, and two, it sets up higher, um, just a tiny bit, but and it has that a lot better elevation adjustment for the higher um, on a Norinco SKS just because of the frame and stuff it sets a little higher than the others <coughs> so they recommended that uh, the TS 200 and uh, anyway I'll go ahead and open it up and let you check it out and uh, let you see firsthand what it is and uh, what it looks like um, as you can see this is the box I did mark out um, my information sorry and um, this company's based out of it says Hartsville South Carolina um, so yeah, tech sites. Like I said, we'll open this up and let you guys uh, check it out and see what it's all about. Now I'm probably just gonna have to rip it open. I guess there we go. Got it. Um, but this is what come inside, um, there's nothing else in the box, I'll go ahead and show you, um, this is the sight itself, um, SKS rifle sight, um, as you can see in there it has the peep sight, uh, it's still in the package and everything, um, and this basically, what this is, is the, the zeroing pin, what you do is the takedown, where you take the dust cover off your SKS, you have to, the little pin that's wedged in it that uh, holds it in place where it won't come out, 
you have to either pull that out some of them you can actually or you either have to file it down or dremel it down to where you can slide that out and this replaces it and uh, one side is a hex screw basically and the other side is just a straight um, screwdriver screw and what it has in it is back here in the back you have uh, four set screws and they're not really to tighten it down what they do is um, once you mount it on the back of your site with this and get that mounted you level it up and keep that straight along with the frame of the uh, where the dust cover meets the frame of the gun and make sure that's as pretty straight as you can get and then you keep this on the uh, I'm gonna use some Loctite or whatever basically this stuff right here and uh, Permatex blue and what you do is once you get it centered you just set those screws to where it's perfectly centered and then leave it and then like when you have to disassemble or clean the gun you basically take this screw out pop the side the whole dust cover off site whatever and when you put it back on it's still zeroed it doesn't go out of whack or nothing so uh, that's pretty sick design um, I'm thinking there's gonna be some screws inside here or something for that but uh, so far so good that's it that's the tech site for the SKS um, like I said they make them for all kinds even the AK and stuff like that um, I'm not going to take this out of the package just yet. And they also sent, um, they sent a letter with the stuff. Um, that's pretty cool. And attached, I'm not going to read the letter online. Um, they actually sent with it a uh, site tool. And uh, this is for the windage uh, elevate or the, yeah, the windage pretty much adjustment and stuff. And a site tool for, uh, this is a tool to adjust the uh, elevation on it, pretty much, is what it's showing on the picture anyway. I did not know that until I just seen it. Um, and this is to do the, uh, like I said, the windage on the side. Where you crank, just kind of like a uh, AR site. And uh, that's it. That's what they sent me. And I'm uh, going to do a review on it later on. This is just the unboxing. Sorry it's getting a little bit longer, but I wanted to go into a little bit more detail about them. Uh, pretty nice looking setup so far that what I'm seeing, and I uh, can't wait to get it on my SKS. So, uh, you guys interested in it or want any information go check out techsites.com uh, go check them out and look at their sites they offer like a couple different versions for the SKS and I guess we're all kinds of different rifles but uh that's it um that's a new site I'm going to try to set up uh, later on and get it put on my SKS hey guys I just wanted to throw this in there um give you I went ahead and opened it up and off camera or whatever but uh give you a closer look at the site that's how it mounts onto the back of the the wall of the dust cover in the frame of your SKS and that's basically where the takedown pin goes in it replaces it this replaces it um, one's a hex in and one's a straight in pretty much and uh, that's it that's the rear you have your elevation here and your windage here adjustment just like on a regular AR site like you know um, and that's it <laughs> pretty sick I'm looking through it right now it looks pretty cool um, can't wait to get this out and try it out and everything make sure it Works out all well, and from what they said is if you do have a Norinco, because they're a little bit different than the others, like I said, um, you want to try to go with the TS-200 just because it sits a little higher and it has the elevation. Um, so, yeah, that's it. That's a closer look to it. Hopefully that's all showing up uh, on camera and everything, and you guys can get a good look at it. But, uh, yeah, let me know what you think.